welcome back. Figured I'd bring you guys up to speed. Um, already did the video on installing the ESCs. So today what I did was I cut slots down in this groove. Let me flip this up right here, one on each side. These are mounted in now, on and off switches for ESC. So I got one on this side, one on the other side. I went ahead and made up Y connectors on both. So I'm waiting for batteries to charge up. I do have the receiver steering plugged in. I do have the Y put in for both ESCs and I've taken this one and removed the center red wire. I have folded it up and taped it back in case I want to use this ESC on something else and this doesn't work. I have the wire. So the wire is been removed on this ESC this one still is sending power to the receiver so that way I don't double up power to the receiver and burn stuff out so that mod has been done I did use here's the Traxxas part number it's a 2046 Traxxas, that's what I used for the Y. So you know, that'll plug into the receiver and then give you two outputs. So Traxxas uses this on their steering, um, which works great to uh, either run fans or split ESCs. So that's what I did. So I will be putting in the splitter for the fans but I'll install that after right now I'm charging up uh, batteries gonna run it on 6s this side 6s this side just to make sure everything's working motor everything else is working good then I'm gonna go ahead install my splitter this gives me voltage output so I can go ahead and crank the fans all the way up so I'll be installing that as well. It's just like a poor man's BEC, I guess you would say. But you control it by turning that to send power out to your fans. So that way if you have a high output steering servo, you can kick, kick up the voltage, that kind of stuff, to everything. And then just dial it back with this. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. So, um, just got things, uh, not sure where I'm going to be putting the receiver yet or the antenna. So I just got it set there. I still have to, uh, last soldering I have to do are the cap packs. I'll put some bullets off of this, bullets onto here to plug in my cap packs, but I won't need that for testing as I won't have big load on it and it's going to be up off the ground so I just want to make sure the timing to both motors are good then I'm going to go ahead and plug in my castle link calibrate both ESC's to the settings I want um, just so I can make sure that they're exactly the same so but I want to get a little bit of data first so I'm going to go ahead and run it here up on the table and then that way I can plug in and check my data and compare them I can overlay this ESC to this ESC to make sure that they're putting out the same. If they're not, I'll make uh, some slight corrections. So that's it. Hope uh, you guys are enjoying the twin motor build. But here's where we're at. I'm still waiting on the mount for the steering. It should be here tomorrow. So once that comes in, I'll go ahead and get that done but today will be a, a test to make sure my gearing is okay definitely don't want that wire in there 
with that gear. But the mount seems to be working real good to the ESCs. Center brace is bolted down. So we're gonna give this thing a, a little run and see, uh, see uh, how this thing sounds. I do have a match set of pinion gears coming. Right now they're, they're both 23 tooth pinions. They're just made by different companies. One's an Arma gear and one's a Robinson Racing gear. And I noticed the teeth cut, even though they're mod one, one's more squarish and one's more pointy. So they kind of fit in a little different. I actually want them to match. That's why I bought a match set of motors. So those gears should be here, I think on the 26th. So, but meanwhile, we can do all the testing and everything I need to do with these gears. But before I actually make a run with this thing, um, I will get a match set of gears in here. Same company, same, uh, same set of gears. So there we go. Had to have the dryer going on in the background. The OG subscribers know all my videos always had the dryer going in the background because on the weekends when I made videos, um, single dad did things, always had to do laundry. So we got some laundry going now. That's why you're hearing the dryer going in the background. But we'll be right back as soon as I get the batteries in. They are charging right now, so we can give this thing a little test. Be right back. All right, so let's get these things powered up. I got the batteries hooked up. Let's do the first ESC. Basically 6S on this side, 6S on that side. Here's the switch. We'll count out the beeps. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's turn on the other ESC. Okay, it looks like we're uh, a go on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna have to go in the ESCs and flip it around because my reverse is my forward and my forward is my reverse. So I can tell by hitting reverse and then hitting forward that the brakes are applying. So I'll have to go in and switch it in the ESC and turn down the punch definitely because if you saw that, look at this reverse, watch. Look at how much I'm hitting this trigger. Let me hold this RC. So you can see the punch is up really high on, uh, or it's probably just all the torque from, uh, from these RCs or from these ESCs since there's two of them. But going in reverse, which makes the wheels go forward. See my steering. I'm going to try to hold this here since it's not mounted down. Oh. Try this again. So my mount should be here. It looks like uh, looks like everything's working. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug in the ESCs, reprogram them, and uh, we'll go from there. But thanks for watching this test. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know uh, how you like the switches, how I mounted them, how I did the wiring. Um, as I said before, both motors are A, B, and C, A, B, and C. So I didn't need to reverse one motor 
versus the other motor. I know somebody made a comment saying I had to reverse one motor, but they're mounted on the same side, so they're spinning the same direction. As long as A, B, and C are hooked up to the motor the same direction, A, B, and C that's marked on the ESC, they'll spin the same direction. Now, if I've taken one of the motors and flipped it over here and had one over here, I would definitely have to reverse one motor. But they are spinning the wrong way. Now, I could flip them here on my wiring and make them go the other direction. The problem with that is, is that, you know, the wires are mounted cleanly this way. This is the way I soldered them. So all I have to do is go into the EAC, go into the programming, and do reverse rotation on the motor. That way my brakes will be the right direction. So like, comment, subscribe. We're getting very close to getting this out on the road and uh, running it. And uh, let me know uh, what you think about this test. All right, welcome back. Went ahead and uh, got one ESC plugged in right now. So we are gonna get this rotation fixed. You go to motor direction. We're gonna go to reverse. And then we're going to hit update. And then I want to check the punch. So we go to power. Power start is on low. Max power is 100%. Reverse percentage is 50%. Punch control is disabled, which that's exactly what we want. So, let's go to logging. Download log data. I'm gonna check a couple of things. Now, what I ended up doing on my Y splitter because I need the red wire hooked up on the ESC side, I went ahead and put the red wire back on. And then on the Y splitter, the one with the tape, the one that's marked, the red wire has been removed out of this one so that I'm not sending power there. So I just did it in the Y because when I need data or programming, I need that center wire in there. So I went ahead, untaped it, put it back in this connector, and I just did it on the Y. That way, no matter what, using this Y, I can't, I can't send double power to the receiver. So I just did it in the Y. So I'm gonna bring you guys over here. I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in, if possible. I don't know why my touch screen's not working, but I'll zoom it in after. So my BEC voltage is 5.5. I mean, honestly, we can bring that up to six volts. So I'm gonna make that change. And then here's our throttle inputs. I never came close to hitting full throttle because I am on a bench. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Yes, we're gonna save it. Let's do infraction.
clear out the log. Automatic data reset. When it's 90%, we're going to automatically reset it. voltage. Let's bring it up to six. Even though this one's not putting out voltage, I am going to make it the same as the other one. Because the other one's going to be at six. And that's it on this one. So let me plug into the other one. Get this Y off of there. You gotta make sure the power, ground, and signal are the right direction. There we go. The other one's loading up. Go to basic, BEC voltage, bring it up to 6 volts, update, okay, motor, we got a motor direction, we're going to reverse it. Update. Okay. Logging. 90%. Update. Okay. Down a little data log. This is ESC number one. Number one is the passenger side. That's my main one. And if you look, everything looks the same. It looks like deja vu. Maximum ripples, 32. shows you the motor RPM. So we're going to go ahead and save this one. And we're going to save that. It's BEC1. And that should be it. Let's check R. Punch is disabled. Should be under power. Punch is disabled, start power is low, maximum power 100%, reverses at 50, same as the other one. Did we clear out the log? No, we did not clear log. And that is it. Let's get these uh, BSCs. <laughs> Plugged in. So I'm going to unplug it from the computer. This is my main one. So I always check colors to make sure that they match up. Black to brown. And then my other one is the one secondary, which the red wire is cut on. So brown is ground, yellow is sensor. And 
And then we'll get this plugged back in. To channel number two. There we go. Put my cable unplugged. Get my computer set aside. Just bring this thing closer. Get the batteries plugged in. We can test this thing again. All right, no wires in the way of the wheels. Grab the remote. BEC number one, or ESC number one, ESC number two, now we're going to go ahead, make sure that this thing is on my platform, I check throttle. switch this around in my controller are working. We're going to have to turn down reverse a little bit, but everything everything's working great. So there we go guys. Brakes are working, motor directions are good. Motors are ice cold, wires are cold, nothing's on fire. I think we did a good job. I'm going to go ahead and get the, these fans wired up next and uh, start buttoning everything up. Get my caps soldered on or the next thing and uh, we'll go from there. But just wanted to show you how I'm reversing the throttle. We're going to add this to the first video. Um, of me running this I was gonna make a separate video but I wanted to show about flipping the motor directions using the castle link on this setup castle link is very very helpful I suggest uh, you guys uh, use it um, buy the castle link hook it up to your computer or hook it up to your phone and uh, and go that route it's really really helpful on custom build but like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys on my next video thanks for watching